Good morning. Welcome to another van life video. You may be able to tell <clears throat> by my talking that I am not so well. To be honest, I'm feeling pretty lousy. Um, it's just the standard sort of, I don't know, winter cold sore throat, snotty nose. You, the usual. Um, I think it's just, we've had, if you're from the UK, you'll know if you're not. We've had quite a drop in temperature these last couple of days, some freezing temperatures. Actually, we had some snow the other night, which was lovely. I love a bit of snow. Um, <clears throat> and, um, and yeah, I just think that just that drop in temperature, and then obviously like, coming in with the, putting the heater on and things, it's made me a little bit poorly, which is rubbish. Um, I am, I'm currently in Stafford, actually. I've been in Stafford for a few days. Um, <coughs> I've just driven to Tesco because I need I need to buy something, some sort of medicine to see if I can make myself better, dose myself up with stuff because I feel just absolute rubbish. So I'm going to nip into Tesco, buy some stuff, and then, oh my goodness, I'm having diesel heater problems. I'll tell you about it when I'm back from Tesco. Let's, let's, let's buy some medicine first, though. Oh, what do I want? What do I need? Oh, I Oh my goodness, right. I didn't know what to get, so I just got effort. Some back strength, cold and flu. Some, what are these? Vix triple action, black currant flavor, like lozenge of things. And then like a tickly cough, dry tickly cough medicine. Let me, let me dose myself up with a bit of everything. <laughs> oh, let's take some medicine. I haven't got a spoon. What's the dosage? I'll just take a swig. A swig. A swig will be all right. Hey, sorry, I didn't realize my phone was there. Oh, right. Oh, Maybe that's five. That's ten. Oh, okay. Then we'll get one of these. Uh... <coughs> oh, God. Blackcurrant lozenger. Something. Oh my goodness, I feel terrible. Right, let me tell you about my diesel heater. So, um, oh, they're smaller than I thought they were going to be. So, oh, so I've been with a friend and their diesel heater stopped working. Mine was working fine, no problems. Their stopped working. Oh, I hope I feel better soon. Oh, they're nice. Mm. They stopped working, all And so, we tried, we unplugged my screen display screen to theirs to see if like that there's because their screen stopped working so we just put in my screen on to see if it works it didn't work and then when we plug my the screen back into my diesel here <coughs> the screen didn't work it doesn't make any sense i can't have my diesel heater on i just can't turn it off <laughs> unless i unplug the screen from the actual diesel heater I don't understand what's going on. I've been researching it, I can't figure it out. I bought a new screen and plugged a new screen in. The new screen works, but the diesel heater doesn't turn on. So, I don't know. I'm currently like trying to find out, I'm asking some questions on Facebook. I've joined a diesel heater group. Well, these are really strong. Um, they don't taste how I thought they were gonna taste, actually. I thought they were gonna taste a black currant. Oh, it's just black currant flavour syrup inside. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I feel like it must be doing me some good, though. Um, yeah, I've joined a diesel heater group on Facebook and I've asked the question, of, like, does anyone know? I'm seeing if I can find someone to take it to. Oh, what a pain. I was trying to help someone else as well. You know, it'll cause all these problems. Right, I am now going to... I'm actually driving down Birmingham Way to see if there's a guy there that where I bought, um, I was like on a marina, and they have all like a Victron electrics and stuff, and it's where I bought all my Victron stuff and all my cables, and I did my van. And he like checked over the electrics for me, and he said good. So I think I'm gonna go down there and see if he knows anything about diesel heaters, and if we can get it sorted. And my friend sorted as well, they've gone down, see so if he can get his sorted as well. Because we need a diesel here. <laughs> Both of us. Nightmare. Nightmare. Right, let's go. About an hour and 
20 minutes away or something. Oh, I feel like I feel better already. Oh. Wow. I need to change this top. I'm having a nightmare. I'm trying to change my jeans in the <laughs> front of the car. <coughs> in the front of the van, I mean. I can't do it. I'm sat here with them, like, halfway down my legs. <laughs> There's a man there in the van as well. He's sort of looking at me. Weirdo. I'm the weirdo. I'm, I don't even hear the weirdo. I mean, I'm the weirdo. Let's see if I can get them on. <laughs> I don't know why I just didn't go in the back and do it. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Look, done it. Perfect. Done. On. Right, we can go now. <coughs> Actually, I need to find my drink. I need to drink juice, water, something. Right, got some drink. Off I'm on the way. Before I go, change out of that jumper. Oh, I feel like, oh, I feel, I feel better already. Oh, yes. I am one hour 14 of where I am going. Oh, let's, let's get on the road. I've got no energy for this whatsoever. Oh, I don't want to do it. I just want to be in bed all day. Okay, come on, Sarah. You could do it. It's just a drive. Oh, one hour 15 minutes, that's not too bad. I hope that I get some um, some good charge Head for my leisure southwest. battery whilst I'm driving. I've been away for like three days. I don't know if I've talked about this. I think I have talked about this, but I've been away for like three days. And my battery, my leisure battery is now down to 25%. So I do need to do a bit of driving and charge it back up because at the moment there's obviously zero. I say obviously, you don't know. It's raining, it's pouring down, it's horrible. There is no solar to help me this time of year, really, to help charge me up. So, gotta rely on the driving. How do I get out of this car park? Head northwest. <clears throat> Where's the exit? Oh, here it is. Oh, God. I'll tell you what, though, I feel, do Head feel better. East. Only slightly, but <laughs> better. In 50 yards, turn left. <laughs> <laughs> You want to see Stafford? Here's Stafford. We actually found two really good park ups in Stafford. Um, like by a park area. I was going to say I'll show you them, but I like to keep my park ups. I'm a bit selfish. I like to keep my park ups generally, like the precise location of them, to myself because otherwise, if I share them online, loads of people might go. <laughs> And then they get wrecked, and I don't know. If you message me, maybe I, I don't know. I'm selfish like that. It's just, it's, I just think like, I don't know. Turn right onto. Is that selfish or is that road. sensible? Eight I think that's sensible. Nine. Like I go to the effort of like trying to find like little park ups on Google Maps and things, and then if I share them online, then I don't know. What do you think? Do you share your? Would you share your like good park up finds on the internet? I don't think you should. To be honest it's actually the next day yesterday was a complete write off i felt like absolute crap and today i'm still feeling like crap if i'm honest but i think today's gonna be a write off but i just wanted to show you the whole diesel heater problem i do think that i've solved not solved the problem but understand what i need to do so like at the moment let me show you so here is my display and it's not plugged in at the moment, the diesel heater, but if I plug it in... Right, I've now plugged it in. It now works. That's come on, it's kicked in. But the display isn't working. And it'll start to blow. You'll probably see why it's smoking in a minute, but that will start to work. But obviously, I don't want to have to be coming under here and plugging and unplugging and pissing around with it. So what I did was buy, what I thought was the right thing, just buy a new display unit. The, the same one, or that I thought was the same one anyway. Apparently there's two versions of this display unit. And if I plug this display unit in, so go, plug that in. So the display unit comes on, 
all good, but I get, you see that, error seven. And it just won't work. What I now understand, or I think I understand, after speaking to some people, I joined a, a diesel, I don't know what I've said, but I joined like a diesel heater specialist group on Facebook. What I now understand from being on there and asking the question is that I actually need to change the display unit and the motherboard that's on the, um, on the, uh, what's it called, on the diesel heater. So I have now ordered a set that I'm going to send that display back that I've bought and I've ordered a set with a motherboard and a display unit and switch them out and hopefully that works but that won't arrive till tomorrow i managed to get one off amazon but it was black friday like two days ago or whatever and so you can never get things quick off amazon on black friday but yeah the motherboard is just inside here so you have to take that off place the motherboard and place the display fingers crossed that works luckily it hasn't been that cold actually in fact it's been really warm, it's been like 13 degrees or something. I was really warm last night, didn't need the heater on whatsoever. And I'm thinking the same might be true of tonight, so it sort of worked out okay. As long as when these parts come tomorrow, that does solve the problem. So hoping it does. I'm also trying to solve the problem of my battery. I just haven't got enough battery i probably do need like a 320 battery in all honesty but i am just doing some research i know i mentioned in the last video and about adding another dc to dc um so that when i'm driving or when i've got my engine on you can probably hear i've got my engine on you might be able to hear i've just put my engine on here which isn't ideal just sitting here with my engine running but i just need to because my my power just disappears and i think it's mainly my fridge i think so I want, I want potentially a bigger battery but that's a very big expense another dc to dc but i need to check the alternator on my car that i can run that size and i also need to get a different fridge because this fridge just pulls so much power i was looking at my um like last night let me show you on my <laughs> victron app um so i was full yesterday I don't know if you can, oh, you can't see this really, but I was full. Let's try and make that so you can see it. There we go. I charged up at a friend's house fully last night, and now I'm down to 56%. And I've been running my engine for a little bit as well. It's crazy. And you can go into if you don't have like the Victron app, you can go into and you can see. You can see how much power. If you look. Yeah, so I've got fully charged up at a friend's house and then just all through the night I just I lost went down to What did I go down to like 50? Yeah from 100 to 50 in in through, just through the night 50% or less than 50% actually like 47% Which is absolutely ridiculous and that just can't it can't be the case because I, I need it that This van lasts more than like two days and that is without because I felt so rubbish yesterday I didn't cook anything, so I didn't even use any power, so I didn't have the lights on. I didn't uh, cook anything, I didn't do anything at all. That is literally just from running the fridge and obviously like the inverter and stuff. So that is bonkers. So we definitely need to sort out the electrical system in this van and upgrade it somehow. So I am just spending a little bit of time today just doing some research on fridges and different stuff. If, if anyone has got a fridge in their van that is low, like I've got a proper camping fridge, just like a 12 volt one, and do they draw a lot of power? It seems to be drawing a lot of power. If you have any recommendations for fridges that just don't draw a lot of power, I would be well up for hearing about those in the comments, please, because it's the day of my life, this fridge. All right, I have just been to collect the things for this diesel heater. Let's see what I've got. Motherboard and a display. Let's flip and fix it, see if it works. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I've got two, one for me, one for my friend. Let's hope we can get them both fixed. So you got more in the black one here, not see. Oh yeah. I reckon 
got white smoke. Cold air's coming out. We've now got two working diesel heaters with mine and my friends fixed. It's on now, can you hear it? The only problem, I haven't been able to put my display back. It's just sort of hanging here at the moment because um, the remote that comes with it, I can't sync it um, or pair it somehow, somewhat, for some reason. I don't know. That's like the last of my worries right now. I've got a heater, I'm not gonna freeze to death. If you do have that 07 code in your heater, it may not solve the problem, but for me, it was a new motherboard and a display, and literally, it's a two minute job just to, to um, change them over. I'm gonna end this video here, I think. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.